today it's our 12th video it's our 12th video uh if i'm not wrong 12th yeah it's our 12th video on graph theory which is on again single source shortest path but now using bellman ford algorithm so in video number 10 and 11 we have uh, we have already discussed the single source shortest path but that was using dicastra that was using dicastra that you have to find the shortest path using dicastra algorithm so if you're watching this video kindly watch the video that video also because this video and that video both are somewhere uh, related to each other so you will understand what is difference between the two algorithms fine so uh, i always follow the reverse engineering because of that uh, today uh, in 12th video in 12th video i'll discuss in 12th video what i will do I'm, i will discuss i will discuss how to solve how to solve question using bellman ford and in 13th video i'll discuss bellman ford algorithm that is what i'm saying so uh, first of all i'll solve the question using algorithm and then i you know discuss algorithm because of that that algorithm become easy for you to understand so let's start with the bellman ford so what is the bellman ford so this is the entire theory of bellman ford so very important very very important because it can be asked in interview also if if we can find single source shortest path using dicastra then what is the use of bellman ford so let's understand why we are using bellman ford so so uh, why we are using Bellman Ford? Let uh, let's understand. S uh, Bellman Ford solves single shortest path. Fine problem in which edge weight very important line in Dicastra we solve single source shortest path where every 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 edge has positive weight. But now in Bellman Ford we can calculate the single source shortest path where a graph can have negative weight also. Fine and but but. It can have negative bit, but there should be no negative cycle. So, what is negative weight? What is negative cycle? Let's see this figure. You can see there are uh, many, many uh, no uh, weights which are negative, uh, which are negative. See, see these two weights are negative. So, if if I need to solve such graph if i need to calculate the single source shortest path in such graph i cannot use dicastra because dicastra is used for positive weight so in that case what i have to use i have to use bellman ford but there is also a restriction in bellman ford that there should be no negative cycle so what is negative cycle let me explain you suppose uh, suppose uh, this is 6 uh, suppose this is uh, instead of 4 it is 7 and this is minus 7 fine now you calc uh, and suppose this arrow is going from this this arrow is going from this and i have changed the arrows now you have this now you are creating a cycle now calculate the weight of the cycle 3 plus 3 and minus 7 so what is the total weight which is minus 1 so this this the entire cycle has having negative weight if there is negative weight in a graph then you cannot apply even bellman ford also that is you can apply bellman ford in a graph having negative weight but if there is negative cycle like like just i have uh, shown you since there is a negative cycle even bellman ford cannot work in this in this graph fine okay now let's understand uh, this algorithm work correctly when some of the edges of the directed graph g may have negative weight may have negative weight it will work when there are no cycles of negative weight that is there should be no cycle of negative it then we can find out the shortest path only then we can find the shortest path between source and destination fine it is slower than dicastra okay it is slower than dicastra but more versatile it is more versatile as it is capable of handling some negative weight it is slower but it is more versatile by because dicastra totally denies negative weight this this algorithm uh, accept negative weight also fine this algorithm detect the negative cycle in this algorithm you can detect a negative cycle of a graph and report their existence and you can also report their existence that there is a negative cycle and you cannot you cannot solve fine so this algorithm is also used for detecting negative cycle now based on the principle of relaxation i'll not read the paragraph entire paragraph i'm not here to read the paragraph i'm here to know uh, tell you how to solve the questions now based on principle of uh, relaxation in which one more accurate value globally recovers and what what it is all about that will follow the principle of re relaxation what is relaxation i've already explained you suppose a node a a node b and uh, the vertex weight is 5 edge weight is suppose 10 and this weight is suppose 18 then if i have to relax if i have to relax what a b and what is weight w so suppose relax what is a what is a is 5 what is b is 18 and what is weight is 10 so what is relax you you add these two weight you add these two weight so 5 and 10 is what 15 is this weight is less than this yes then you know uh, change this weight to the sum so this will become uh, 15 so this is what relax is all about now suppose this is 
13. So you add both of them 5 and 10, 15 and this is 13. Will you relax this? No, now you will not relax because it is already relaxed because it is already relaxed. Fine. So this is what relax is all about. So you will keep on relaxing. You will keep on. You have already relaxed in Dicastra also, but here we'll keep on relaxing to, oh, to how many number of time? Let's see the question. So question on manual fold, you have given a question, you have given a graph where there are some negative weights and you have to solve uh, using Dicastra. That is now what you do, what you are doing is that I'm, I'm, I'm explaining you what you have to do. The method of uh, uh, Bellman Ford says that how many nodes are there? First of all, Bellman Ford says that how many nodes are there? There are seven nodes. Then yes, right seven. Then you have to relax each edge. I'm writing. Then you have to relax. Then you have to relax each edge. Suppose this is n. If there are n nodes, then you have to relax each edge n minus 1 times n minus 1 times. Since there are 7 nodes, then you have to relax each edge. How many times? 6 times. How many times? 6 times. So what I did, I have created a matrix which is having edge, all the edges of graph. 1, 2, see 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, uh, 1, 4, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. So 1 is over. Now see how many nodes are uh, uh, arising from 2. So 2, 5, only 2, 5. So only 2, 5. Then how many nodes from 3? Uh, 3, 5, uh, 3, 2. Uh, so 3, 5 and 3, 2. So I have you know, written all the edges and since how many times I have to relax every edge 6 times. So I have made 6 rows. I have made six rows and in these six rows, I'll keep on, I'll keep on, I'll keep on relaxing till, till we are getting no change. Is it important to relax six times? No. Suppose if we are getting no change in third time, so I'll not, uh, no, make a changes in fourth because I know if there is no change, why to keep on repeating the same thing in fourth, fifth, seventh, sixth, seventh time? It's of no use. Fine. So let's, let's start, let's start how to solve this question. So again, I've created one graph, same graph so that I'll, I'll use this graph for relaxing. So uh, what is initialized single source? I've already explained what is initialized single source. In initialized single source, what you do? you initialize source suppose i have to start from one you initialize source with zero and all other node with infinite and all other node with infinite hope you remember the castra hope you remember prims uh, i use the same method that is initialize single source so what is initialize single source so initialize vertex source with zero and all other nodes with infinite fine now what is relax i've just told you that if two nodes are a and b and they their weight is suppose this is 5 and this is suppose 11 and this is suppose 17 then add these two 11 plus 5 is what 11 plus 5 is 16 is this 16 less than 17 yes then change is to 16 so we have relaxed any if suppose this is 13 so 5 plus 11 is 16 this is already 13 so I will not relax it so this is called relax so I'll keep on relaxing I'll keep on relaxing uh, every time so let's start 1, 2. I have to relax 1, 2. So this is 0 and this is 6. 0 plus 6. Is 0 plus 6 less than infinity? Yes. So I will relax it. So I'll change the color of my pen so that it becomes easy for you to understand. Oh, let me change the color to this color. Okay. So 0 plus 6 is 6. So I'll make it 6. Fine. So I've relaxed. You just take it. I've relaxed 1, 2. Uh, then, then 1, 3. Uh, uh, one, 0 plus 5 is 5. Is this 5 is less than infinity? Yes. Relax it. So I've relaxed 1, 3. I'll take it. I'll uh, mark uh, I'll tick mark over there now 1 4 0 plus 5 is 0 plus 5 less than infinity yes then relax it so 1 uh, sorry uh, 0 plus 5 yeah, so I've relaxed 1 4 also so I've relaxed finally relax 1 4 also fine okay now comes 2 5 so 2 and 5 6 and minus 1 6 and minus 1 is 5 so is this 5 is less than yes so I'll make it 5 okay fine Okay, so uh, I have relaxed what I have relaxed to five. So I'll take it now three two. So three two three and uh, two. This is five and this is minus two five and minus two. What is five and minus two? Three is three less than six. Yes. So I'll make it three. I'll make it three. So uh, I'll make it three. So if have I relaxed three two? Yes, I've relaxed three two also. Three five. Now what is three five? This is five and this is one. Five and one is six. Is six less than five? No. So I will not relax three five. I'll cross it. 
4, 3. What is 4, 3, 4, 3? This is 5 and this is minus 2. So 5 and minus 2 become 3 and this is 5. Is 3 less than 5? Yes, I'll relax it. So I'll relax 4, 3. 4, 6, 4, 6. What is 4, 6? 5 and minus 1. 5 and minus 1 is 4. Is 4 less than infinity? Yes. So I have also relaxed 4, 6. 5, 7. 5 and 7. 5 and 3 is 8. And this is infinity. Is 8 less than infinity? Yes. So I'll relax it. 6, 7. 4 and 3 is 7. And this is 8. So I'll relax 6, 7. Yes, I'll relax. Because uh, 4 and 3 is 7. And 7 is less than 8. So I'll relax 6, 7. Finally, what happened? Finally, what happened? The, this weight has become 3. This weight has become 3. This weight has become 5, this weight has become 5, and this weight has become 7, and this final weight is 4 at, at first go. You know, I'll, I'll use the same concept and second also. I'll relax 1, 2. So let's relax 1, 2. 1, 2, 0 plus 6. So 0 plus 6 is less than 3? No. So I will not relax 1, 2. I'll, do I relax 1, 3? So 1, 3. 0 plus 5 is 5 and this is 3. I have already relaxed. No, I will not relax it. 1, 4. 1, 4. 0 plus 5 is 5 and it is already 5. It is not less. So, I will not relax 1, 4 also. So, see my job is getting over uh, the, uh, no, uh, I keep on iterating. So, 2, 5. What is 2, 5? 2 and 5. 3, 3 minus 1 is what? 2. And what is this? Uh, uh, 2, 5. Uh, this is 5. So, 2 is less than 5? Yes. So, this will become 2. Fine. Okay. So have I relaxed 2, 5? Yes. 3, 2. What is 3, 2? Three, 3 and minus 2 is what? 1. And what is this? 3. Can I relax it? Yes. Because 1 is less than 3. So I have relaxed 3, 2 also. 3, 5. 3, 5. So what is 3, 5? 3 and 1. 3 and 1 is 4. And what is this? 2. Is 4 less than 2? No. So I will not relax 3, 5. 4, 3. What is 4, 3? Uh, 4 and 3. This is 5 and this is minus 2. 5 and minus 2 is 3. which It is already 3. So I will not relax it. 4, 6. 4, 6. 5 and minus 1 is 4. It is already 4. I will not relax it. 5, 7. 5, 7. 2 and 3. What is 2 and 3? 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. And it is 7. So I will relax it. Definitely I will relax it. So 5, 7 I will relax. 6, 7. 4 and 3 is 7. And this is already 5, which is less. So, will I relax it? No, I will not relax it. So, I will not relax it. Fine. So, at second go, what the changes took place? This has become 1. This has become 2. This has become 5. And uh, same. Not, no changes. Now, again, I will repeat the third step. I will keep on repeating, repeating till we are getting a changes. Fine. So, I will repeat the third step. 1, 2. 1, 2. It is 0 plus 6. It is already 1. 0 plus 6 is 6 and it is 1. So, it 6 is not less than 1. I will not relax it. 1, 3. 0 plus 5 and it is already 3 which is less. So, I will not relax it. 1, 4. 1, 4. 0 plus 5 is 5. It is already 5. 5 is not less than 5. I will not relax it. 2, 5. 2, 5. 2, 5. 1 and minus 1 is 0 and this is 2. So, I will relax it. Yes. So, uh, what do have I relaxed 2, 5? Yes. So, again, uh, at third go, one changes took place. So, I have to repeat the fourth step now. Uh, this is for sure. 3, 2. 3, 2. 3 and 2. 3 and minus 2 is 1, which is, uh, and 2 is already 1. I will not relax it. 3, 5. 3, 5. Uh, 3 and 1 is 4 and it is 0. 0 is less than uh, 4. So, I will not relax it. 4, 3. 4, 3. 5 and minus 2 is 3 and which is already 3. I will not relax it. 4, 6. 4, 6. 5 and minus 1 is 4. It is already 4. I will not relax it. 5, 7. 0 plus 3. 0 plus 3 is 3 and this is 5. So, I will relax it. So, 5 and 7 got relaxed. So, I will in third go 5 and 7 is also uh, there is a, a change in 5 7 also fine okay now what what next 6 7 uh, 4 3 6 7 that is you add this and this 4 and 3 is 7 and 7 uh, is not less than 3 so I will not relax it so finally what happened so finally what happened uh, this is these are the final changes you can see so uh, do I have to repeat uh, do I have to uh, no, uh, relax for step 4 yes because there were changes in third step so now check 1 2 1, 2, 0 plus 6 is 6 less than 1? No, I will not relax it. 1, 3, 0 plus 5 is less than 3? No, I will not relax it. Uh, then 1, 4, 0 plus 5 is less than 5? No, I will not relax it. Uh, 2, 5, 2, 5, not see 2, 5. 
1 and minus 1, 2 and 5, 1 and minus 1 is 0. It is already 0. I will not relax it. So, see, after fourth, no, in, in fourth step, you are not changing. Uh, you can see in first step, in second step, in third step, there were changes in 2, 5. But right now, we are not getting any change. Now, check 3, 2. 3 and 2. This is 3 and this is minus 2. 3 plus minus 2 is what? 1. 2 is already 1. Uh, so, uh, I will not, 1 is not less than 1. I will not change it. 3, 5. 3 and 5, 3 and 1, 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 is not less than 0, so I will not relax it. 4, 3, what is 4, 3? Four, 5 and minus 2 is 3, 5 plus minus 2 is 3 and 3 is already 3, so I will not relax it. 4, 6, 4, 6, 5 and minus 1 is 4, 6 is already 4, I will not relax it. 5, 7, 0 plus 3 is 3 and 7 is already 3, I will not relax it. 6, 7, 6, 7. 4 plus 3, 4 plus 3 is 7 and 7 is already 3 which is not less than so I will not relax it. So at fourth step I have not found any edge for which I have to use relax. So in fourth step if there is no change definitely obviously there will be no change in fourth, fifth step also there will be no change in sixth steps also. I will not keep on relaxing because it's a, it's a waste of time I will not relax no. So finally what happened? Finally what happened? So you f finally found the weight of a Every vertex that is uh, to reach zero to reach uh, so I, I write all all the vertex so the first vertex is one the second vertex is two the third vertex is three then four then five and then six and then finally you have seven vertex now let me explain you what what we did what we have finally achieved let's see from uh, the weight of one is 0, the weight of 2 is 1, the weight of 3 is uh, 3, the weight of 4 is 5, the weight of 5 is 0, uh, the weight of 6 is 4 and the weight of 7 is 3. That is if you want to go from 1 to 2, you have to spend 1 rupees. Or if you want to go from 1 to 1, you need not spend any. If you want to go from 1 to 3, you have to spend 3 rupees or 3 dollar, you can say. If you want to go from 1 to 4, you have to spend 5 dollar. If you want to go from uh, from 1 to 5, you have to need not to spend anything. Why? Let's see. Why we are not spending anything? Suppose we, have, we took this part. 5. Five, five. Suppose we have spent five dollar over here, then five, then five, and then I'm taking this path. Five and minus two is what? Three, and three and minus two is what? One, and one and minus one is what? Uh, zero. So I need not to spend anything. Fine. So if I'm going this step, I need not to step, uh, spend any amount. You have to find single source shortest path. Fine. Okay. Now from one to six, you have to spend uh, uh, four dollar, uh, and now from one to seven. You have to spend three dollars fine so this is all about what uh bellman ford where so what is bellman ford bellman ford work for negative weight also but but so i'll discuss that but now here now you have this graph so you have a graph can you apply there is there are negative weight can you apply can you apply can you apply what uh bellman ford over here Be no we cannot because there is a cycle which cycle this this and this and add the sum of this cycle. Now, 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 and fi minus 15 is minus 1. Since the sum of this cycle is negative, so there is a negative cycle I will not be able to solve. Why? If you make a, uh, uh, what is Bellman Ford? How many nodes are there? There are four nodes. So, you have to relax every edge. You have to relax every edge. How many number of times? Three times. So because of that, I have used, you know, I have taken all the edges of this graph and I have used three times. What you will notice that at third time also you will getting, uh, you will get some changes. You will at fourth time, though you have to, you know, relax it only three times, but that will not become over. That will not be over at third. If you keep on doing relaxation at four, five, six, seven time, it will keep on changing. Since it will keep on changing, so it will come to an infinite loop and something which is infinite in, in loop you cannot solve it fine so because of this you cannot apply so now it's a homework now it's a homework for all the viewers now it's a homework for all the viewers to solve this and give a comment uh, that whether you are getting any solution or not so you will able to understand what i was trying to 